Hi guys, it's Krista from Covering the Bases, and this is my lipstick tutorial explanation, what I wear, what I like, what I don't like, uh, something, something lipstick thing. I always wear um, red lips as much as I can. So I've gone through my fair share of lipsticks and lip glosses and today I'm here to show you my favorite ones and what they look like and explain them all. These are the curls from my last video. These like this is the next day curls which are pretty good. They they're loose, they're fun. Uh I need a shower but other than that they look great, right? Let's first start with glosses. My favorite lip gloss is O Gloss by Smashbox. This actually it gloss goes on clear and it matches the tint to your lips. It's great for everyone. It comes out clear. I just have old lip gloss on there because it's great to put on with lipstick. Make it shiny. You can see it. It's just a lip gloss. It's not super sticky um, and it matches your lip color. It's like the best lip color for you. That goes the rest of your skin. I don't know how they do it. They also have blush that does the same thing. And it's just the O Gloss line. So this is what I'll wear if I just like am running out to the office or just want something on my lips or if I'm not in the mood for bright red lips. I'll just go with a little pink. Another lip gloss, semi lip gloss, semi lipstick that I really like, Revlon. And it is romantic, romantique. I broke it so it's flat but it, it comes in like a crayon type thing and this is also like another glossy thing that's not as heavy as lipstick if you just wanted to throw it on. It's more chapsticky than lipsticky. As you can see it's more shiny. Next, we're going to move on to lipsticks that I really like a lot, but we'll start with my very first ever red lipstick. It is by Maybelline. It's called Are You Ready? Red D. And I like the smell of it, which is really, really weird. But this is my favorite. Uh, these are my favorite. The only major problem with this lipstick, and it might be because it's old, um, is that it's just very hard to put on. It's almost sticky in the sense it's like paste. I don't know if you can like really tell, but I can tell. And so it's just not as glossy. And so when I said that I put the lip gloss over it, this is what it is. Um, the O gloss. And so it just makes it more shiny and more less like really sticky. Not like a gloss type of sticky, but like a lipstick stick. Yeah. And it's a lot harder to get off, but it also stays on a lot longer. It has a really good life. And so this is what I'll wear probably like in the summer or springtime. This is always my go-to. So if you see any pictures of me wearing red lips, this is it. The next one um, is my one for the winter time. It's by NARS. I love NARS. It's one of my favorite makeup companies. It's called Red Lizard. Um, I got this because I wanted a darker shade of red, which this is. You can like compare a difference. And I'll show you on here. So, ooh, the top is a NARS. just like a deeper red just and also what I love about this is that it's not sticky it's not glossy it's just matte so it's just it feels like I'm not wearing any lipstick which is really helpful which is also not as helpful because sometimes I'll forget uh, yeah so I'll have like lipstick all over my face but when I remember it's amazing my next lipstick is from Bare Minerals, and it's called Marvelous Moxie. 
But this is a really great red color. It's the third one. Um, so it's kind of like if first you had a baby, you'd make this. So it's not as bright a red, but it's not as deep a red. And I really like this because it goes on so easily. Very glossy, um, shiny, and unlike the NARS where it's more matte. And I really like it. It's good. This is like my now go-to. That doesn't look good. Those are all of my lipsticks. Um, and as a little tutorial part, I'll show you how I actually put on my lipstick. Because that, there's like a little science to it. So I'm going to get up a close and personal. So this is my NARS one that I'm going to use. Um, because I would use Bare Mineral one. But it's not pointed. Because I mess it up. And it's always better if it's pointed like this. Just like how it regularly comes. So this is a NARS Red Lizard. And what I'll do is I'll outline my lips. To see where I want it to go. And then I'll color it in. So there's the top. And obviously I'm not super pro at this yet. And then for the bottom, I turn the lipstick. So usually put on lipstick this way. I'm going to turn it upside down and put it on this way. So the top point is going to be out. I'm going to outline the bottom part. It's hard once again not doing this in the mirror. And then we're going to fill it in. And I always have trouble with that side. So excuse me for looking like that guy from Batman. That is going to do it. Um, and then obviously I always have, I, I still haven't mastered really putting on lipstick yet. I like to think I have. I come up with like a better way to go about it. But I always have little mess ups. And what's great is just makeup remover. Like if you have, like if you wash your face with makeup remover, um, like a cloth, you just wrap the cloth around your finger and just outline it. Or if you have little Q-tips, dip it in makeup remover and just go along that. These are my lipsticks, my favorite ones. I will link all of them below. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or anything, you can just let me know. And I hope you liked it. Um, I'll try and think of more tutorials. But since I did my makeup, my hair, my lipstick, that's about it. Unless you want to see me, like, shave my legs, which is... That was a joke, by the way. All right, well, friends, I will see you later. Oh, well, I'm trying to take off my lipstick and I did this, so that's not very good. <laughs>